guys welcome back to another round of cyborg uh gaming today we're gonna go through the second circuit this is the second city aquarius uh race one of the second circuit so let's hop in there today we're going against bullseye uh don't want to do skilled want to do that winner take all that's going to give us 3300 uh for this win i don't need to go through and inspect my vehicle or do any upgrades right now uh we should be good to go And hit that R button. And just kind of cruise right up the middle and then try to get your boost here. You can see I'm hitting over 700. Ooh. Not really sure what I hit there, but that's okay. The second circuit will be a little bit more difficult than the first. But we shouldn't need to upgrade our vehicle for a little bit. And hit that. Oh, all the time. Okay. Man, this is a bad one. Okay. So, on this one, be careful. You should remember this one from the first circuit, this level. You're going to want to be careful with those doors. Man. Really? Okay, there we go. Apologize for that. Dude, what is going on? Hit that boost right there. And watch this turn. You just want to be careful. It's kind of uh, pretty tight. And you're going to want to hover off to the right here. You can see uh, the tenth place coming from the other side there. Hover off here to the right, hug that side, and should be getting close to the end of the first lap, I believe. And you can boost it right here at the end. Makes it pretty easy. And you can see here with having like, you know, timer over 145 for my first lap, this is going to be a longer race. As you're going uh, through the circuits, the harder the circuit, usually it's uh, the longer the race. But it will have similar layouts as to what you have in the first circuit, which kind of makes it a little bit more interesting. It's just a different kind of variation or thought on the level. So, here we go. We're now going to pass that first lap. And 2.15. So, and that's a lap record. So we're going to see probably closer to 7 minutes on that race time. But again, uh, I'm not really seeing any of the other racers, which is a good sign. You can also kind of come up here. I wouldn't really consider this a shortcut, but it might be a little bit better than going on the downward path. You hover over here to the left, and this one allow you to boost right through. But with having a good acceleration and top speed, it makes these uh, races a lot easier. That's why I'd like to go with the winner takes all. You should be able to basically beat this game in one sitting if you really want to, or just a couple hours over the course of a couple seatings. But it does get you know more high speed, makes the turning a little bit more difficult, makes it easier to die. hit that boost again coming up on that second lap going into the third lap but I do love also the music in here uh, very kind of fast paced very Star Wars yeah you know, it gives a good feel to the yeah you know, to the level 
You can see also some fish off to my right. The water on top, not the greatest look, but you know, this game's pretty old. And here we go. We can give it a, another boost. I think I uh, beat my previous uh, lap time by about 10 seconds there, which is a good sign. You should be getting faster and faster, you know, each lap. I'll take the upward path again. Oh, I missed it. Just barely missed that. So I probably won't beat my lap time for this one, but that's okay. And we're gonna try to save up some money after doing this second circuit. You know, I might need to upgrade once here, but the main purpose is to get through these circuits, the first two. And then try to have a fast enough pod racer to be able to take on Sebulba. You're going to get to the point where you're going to want to be taking, you know, boost at over a thousand miles an hour. You can see right now, I, mean, I don't even really, whoa, kind of lost control there. Uh, probably kind of struggling to hit 800. I don't know if I can quite get there just yet. hit that boost and coming here towards the end of the level so timer is probably not going to hit seven minutes but it was a good rough estimate go right this time and you can see I'm repairing my engine but my speed is dropping dramatically but we finished the race just under 640 And that's our new pod racer. Another one kind of clunky, uh, pretty wide. Big engines though. Uh, was able to beat Bullseye by almost a minute, which is good to see.